Hi, beautiful people welcome to our Developer's Diary YouTube channel. Today we shall learn how to configure Visual Studio Code at your local machine for SAP UE5 development. Kindly subscribe to our channel so that you can get amazing and informative videos. So, Node.js need to be installed first. Kindly download and install recommended version. I have already installed one. You can check the Node version in Terminal. 6.14 is my node version. Now, click the extension icon of VS Code, and write SAP Fiori Tools, and install 5 extensions. Application Modeler Guided Development, Extension Pack, Service Modeler, and XML Annotation Language. It will take some time so be patient. Go to the command palette and write Open Application Generator. Installation of SAP Generator Fiori is automatically start, but you can see the error at right bottom of VS Code, so we have to uninstall it and install again using internal terminal. After installation you will see the notification in right bottom of VS Code. Important note for remembrance. In the last step we have uninstall and then install the SAP generator. Configurations are complete. Let's create a test app. Go to command palette once again, and write open application generator. Select the application type, SAP UE5 Freestyle. Select floor plan, SAP UE5 application. Select data source, none. Enter the view name. Enter the project attributes. Press finish. A new module has been created. Check the folder structure. Open main view. Currently, dependencies are installing after file generated notification. You can start the coding. Let's add a button and call a function on press event.
Let's define our function in controller. We want to show a message on button press, so, use message toast library, it will show your message. Let's start our app in debug mode. Nothing is show, due to spell mistake of button. Now it's showing and working perfectly. Let's change the title, in i18 and change the title value. Congratulations, application is working fine.